how does gasoline in the fuel tank actually make its way to the engine? First, two fuel lines are installed, one black and one white. The black line connects directly to the fuel tank. The white line connects to the charcoal vapor line. Gasoline travels through these two lines in two forms, liquid and vapor, before entering the engine. The other ends of these lines are clipped along the underside of the vehicle. The fuel tank is installed first onto the chassis assembly. When the chassis and the body are joined together, the tank is secured underneath the car. Right below the fuel filler opening, a charcoal canister is also installed. This canister absorbs gasoline vapors that evaporate inside the tank. That helps reduce air pollution and also cuts down on fuel loss. Gasoline vapor first flows through the line on the right side into the charcoal canister. When the engine is running, the vapor is then sent through the line on the left into the engine, where it gets burned. Next, the fuel line from the tank is connected to the fuel line from the charcoal canister. Then the engine fuel line is connected to the tank fuel line. Liquid gasoline flows through this line to the high-pressure fuel pump, and from there it is sent to the fuel injectors. On turbocharged engines, an additional purge pump is installed. Its job is to pull gasoline vapors out of the charcoal canister. This pump is connected by a three-way fuel line. One end connects to the charcoal vapor line. The split line leads to the intake manifold. The final section passes through the purge pump and then into the intake pipe. The purge pump also needs an electrical power connector. When the turbocharger is not active, gasoline vapor goes straight through a solenoid valve into the intake manifold and then into the engine for combustion. When the turbocharger is working, the purge pump sends the gasoline vapor into the intake pipe and through the turbocharger before it enters the engine. 